Picture casting a message adrift in the sea. Only this vessel is a sophisticated machine, and the sea is the endless expanse of space. This is Voyager 2, humanity's envoy to the cosmos. Sent forth in 1977, Voyager 2 was designed to journey past the giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. It offered us our inaugural close-up glimpses of these remote worlds. Alongside its twin, Voyager 1, it became our window and microphone in the vast unknown. The mission's purpose? To unravel mysteries about the origins of our solar system and its planetary neighbors. But Voyager 2 carried something extraordinary. The Golden Record. This disc contains sounds and images from Earth, a greeting to any intelligent beings who might encounter it. It's a time capsule, declaring, This is who we are. This is our home. Keep in mind, this was the late 1970s. Technology was rudimentary compared to today. Voyager 2's onboard memory is smaller than what's inside a modern car key fob. Yet, fueled by the slow decay of radioactive material, it has traveled farther and endured longer than anyone dared hope. Voyager 2 stands as a monument to human creativity, a fragment of ourselves voyaging through the stars. It's not just a scientific probe. It embodies our relentless curiosity and urge to discover. For more than 40 years, it has returned data and images that have transformed our understanding of the universe. Even now, decades after its main mission, it continues to astonish us. Voyager 2 has crossed beyond the planets, entering a realm no other human-made object has explored so intimately, the space between the stars. It's more than machinery. It's a testament to our collective ambition. Each new finding is like a postcard from the frontier, reminding us of the vastness yet to be explored. Voyager 2 embodies our highest aspirations, the drive to reach into the unknown. It's a small ambassador, carrying our legacy into the infinite. And as it recedes ever further, it continues to ask the universe, who else is out there? The Odyssey goes on. Voyager 2's journey was made possible by a rare planetary alignment, an event that happens only once every 176 years. This allowed the spacecraft to use gravity assists, slingshotting from planet to planet and saving years of travel time. Its first stop, Jupiter, in 1979. Voyager 2 revealed Jupiter's storms, discovered new moons, and found a faint ring system. Most exciting was Europa, a cracked, icy moon hinting at a hidden ocean beneath. Next came Saturn in 1981. Voyager 2 showed us Saturn's rings were far more complex than imagined, with thousands of ringlets and mysterious spokes. It also studied Titan, Saturn's giant, hazy moon. Then, Voyager 2 became the first, and only, probe to visit Uranus and Neptune. At Uranus, it found new moons, rings, and confirmed the planet's extreme tilt. At Neptune, it discovered raging storms, the great dark spot, and clumpy, incomplete rings. After Neptune, Voyager 2's planetary tour ended, its new mission to keep traveling outward into the unknown. This grand tour transformed distant points of light into real, dynamic worlds. Voyager 2's journey is a testament to exploration on a cosmic scale, and it's still not over. Before Voyager 2, Uranus and Neptune were just blurry dots in our telescopes. Voyager 2 changed that forever. At Uranus, it found a bizarre, tilted magnetic field and a pale, featureless atmosphere. Seasons there last decades, shaped by the planet's extreme tilt. Neptune, expected to be quiet and cold, turned out to be wildly active. Voyager 2 discovered the fastest winds in the solar system and the great dark spot, a massive storm. The probe also revealed strange moons, Miranda, with its jumbled patchwork surface, and Triton, Neptune's largest moon, orbiting backward and erupting icy geysers. These discoveries shattered our assumptions. The outer solar system isn't a frozen wasteland. It's alive with activity and mystery. Voyager 2 showed us that even in the coldest reaches, worlds can be dynamic and surprising. Each revelation forced us to rethink what's possible. The universe, it turns out, is full of surprises. After Neptune, Voyager 2 set course for interstellar space, the vast expanse between the stars. To get there, it had to cross the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends. The sun creates a bubble, 
the heliosphere, filled with charged particles. Inside is our solar system. Outside is the galaxy. For years, Voyager 2 approached this invisible wall, its instruments searching for signs of crossing. The key clue, a shift from solar wind particles to cosmic rays from distant stars. In November 2018, Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause, becoming only the second human-made object to do so. This was historic, not just for distance, but for science. Voyager 2 carried a working plasma instrument, allowing it to measure the density and temperature of space at the edge. The data revealed a sharp jump in plasma density and a colder interstellar environment. These findings helped us understand the true shape and strength of our solar system's protective shield. The heliosphere isn't just a bubble, it's our first defense against cosmic radiation. Voyager 2's crossing gave us our first direct look at the boundary between our solar system and the galaxy beyond. It's like having a weather station at the edge of the unknown. The data is vital for understanding how our solar system interacts with the galaxy. It's a new frontier, and Voyager 2 is our scout. Each signal it sends is a message from the edge of the sun's reach. We're learning, for the first time, what it's like to leave home. And the discoveries are just beginning. As Voyager 2 ventured deeper, it sent back a surprise. A sudden, significant increase in the density of space around it. This wasn't expected. Models predicted a calm, uniform interstellar medium. Instead, Voyager 2 found clumps, regions denser than others. Scientists call this a wall of fire. Not literal flames, but a turbulent, energetic boundary where our heliosphere slams into denser interstellar clouds. Here, plasma heats up, magnetic fields tangle, and the environment becomes violent. Voyager 2's data is the first hint that our solar system is entering a new, more hazardous region. The signals traveling for hours across space show a steady climb in plasma density. The calm journey we imagined may be ending. Voyager 2 is warning us. The cosmic weather ahead is changing. The fear isn't aliens, it's about our heliosphere, the shield that protects us from galactic cosmic rays. If this shield gets squeezed by denser interstellar clouds, it could shrink dramatically. The boundary might move inward, exposing the outer and possibly inner solar system to more intense cosmic radiation. This could affect Earth's climate, increase radiation for airline crews, and threaten satellites that power our modern world. We have no control over this cosmic journey. All we can do is observe and prepare. Voyager 2's discovery is the first real evidence that this scenario is possible. It's a wake-up call from the edge of the solar system. Our cosmic shield may soon face its toughest test. The heliosphere is our solar system's atmosphere, our first line of defense. Its size depends on the balance between the sun's solar wind and the pressure of the interstellar medium. Voyager 2's data shows that balance is shifting. As the bubble gets squeezed, our protection shrinks. If this happens during a solar minimum, our shield could be especially weak. The consequences? More cosmic rays reaching Earth, higher background radiation, and greater risk to electronics and satellites. We've seen what solar storms can do, now imagine a permanent, low-level storm from the galaxy itself. For a civilization dependent on technology, the threat is immediate. Voyager 2's warning is clear. Our cosmic environment is changing. The space around us isn't constant. It's a dynamic, sometimes dangerous neighborhood. Voyager 2 is our early warning system, giving us time to understand and adapt. The future of our cosmic shield is uncertain. So, what does this mean for us? Don't panic. These changes unfold over thousands of years, but Voyager 2's discovery changes our perspective. We're not isolated. We're travelers through a dynamic galaxy. This knowledge lets us prepare and deepens our understanding of our place in the universe. Scientists will now focus on mapping the interstellar medium and designing new missions to study our cosmic shield. Voyager 2, even in its old age, has sparked a new era of exploration. Its story is a lesson in the value of curiosity-driven science. We sent it to explore planets. It ended up warning us about our home's ultimate defense. The universe is complex and ever-changing. Thanks to Voyager 2, we're a little less ignorant about the journey ahead. Its story is our story, a species reaching out, learning, and preparing for the unknown.